Yeah. What's up YouTube, Facebook, anybody else watching this video? Alright, today is the first installment of my entire channel. Welcome to Circuit Trauma. Alright, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tuning up a PS4. Now this thing is a first generation. It sounds like a jet engine is about to take off. It, it Really what it means is that the thermal compound, this stuff right here, uh, it's, it's run dry and whenever that happens the uh, CPU, for lack of a better word, is uh, it's kind of overheating and the fan is spinning up a lot faster to try to cool that down and mitigate that. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go in and replace the thermal compound to keep this whole thing cool so we can keep gaming. Now, if you're cool like me, then you would own a PS4. But, you know, some people, they like the Xbox. I don't know what's wrong with those people. But maybe later on I'll be able to do an Xbox One tutorial or something like that. But, excuse me, for now... We're going to do the PS4, and it's a simple tune-up. It's like, uh, it's really just routine maintenance that you need to have done on your console, on any console for that matter, and it's kind of like changing your oil in the car. You never want to go too long without it. So, <clears throat> the tools that you're going to need is a T8. Be sure it has the hole in it. See that? All right. TH screwdriver. You need a simple Phillips. Mine's all fancy schmancy because it has a ratchet on it. It's so ratchet. You also need some alcohol. And I'm not talking this stuff right here. Although that's always good to, to have during a repair. But to clean, you need this. I use 100. Uh, this stuff, it doesn't leave any kind of residue. You can use 91, 97, 93. But for me, I like to use 100 because I've dealt with electronics enough. But you can use whatever you got at the house. Again, this is a simple tutorial. So you're also going to need simple paper towel. There's nothing fancy about that. And our main hitter here is thermal compound. I like to use this AMD Intel stuff right here. Let's get started. Down. Alright, so first what you want to do is take off the silver side, the shiny side. And this right here, you're going to use it for your, um, like a, a screw tray, really. That's what I use it for, and it holds all your screws and all your cables that you're about to take out. So, on the back here you're going to notice that screw, that screw, and this screw, and that screw. You're going to take those out. That's a T8. So now you got this thing upside down. What you're going to do is you're going to pull these corners right here toward you. So you're kind of like going to bend the plastic up and it's going to release. You probably got to put some MAN into it. Boom. Easy. Now look at all that. Look at this. Dust. Dust. No bueno. So we're going to put this over to the side. All right. Now. And this is your power supply. If I can. All right. So this is your PSU or your power supply unit. This thing has five screws in it. You got one right here, one right here, and one right here. These are T8s. Now you also have one right here in the corner and one right here in this corner. That is your Phillips. So since we already got our T8 in our hands. Let's go ahead and hook it up. All 
Remember, kids, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, now before you go try to rip this thing out, stop. Right here on this side, you have a cable. Right here for your PSU. You need to pull this out. Okay, be sure you have that pulled out. Now, <clears throat> you want to lift up. If the fan is facing towards you like it should be, you need to lift up gradually on the left side. And then on the right side, apply pressure. Boom, comes out easy. See that? Place it over to the side or on the floor like I'm about to. Cool. Now, so this is what you're seeing. You're going to be thinking, like, what the hell is all these cables for? Okay. Now, uh, we need to take out all these cables here and your antenna here. So grab your T8 again, right here. This is your antenna. We're going to take out that screw right there, okay? Lift up. You're going to see like a little retaining thing right here. Just take it off of there. Now, you have to bring it around this claw. Bring it down underneath this claw right here. And then come back around. And then once you see it connected to the board itself, right here, what you're going to do is just grab it like this and then lift up. Boom. Easy. Okay. Now this piece right here for your PSU, all you're going to do is grab it at the base, pull it up. Now, this cable right here, this is for your disk drive. This is what tells your board information how to read your, your disk and all that stuff. So, you need to be very, very careful that you do not damage this thing. You're going to have to get it replaced. It's like $15. So, you have a plastic tab right here. So, you're just going to get underneath there. And then you see a metal clip on this plastic piece. You're going to push down on the metal clip and then pull out okay don't forget to push the metal clip now same thing on the board you're gonna push down on the metal clip and then it has well some have two black uh, plastic tabs some have one black one white doesn't matter at this point you can just grab the cable itself but be sure to push down on this piece the metal piece pull out done okay now, <clears throat> this right here is your disk drive. Now, it has this cable, and it seems almost impossible to get this cable out. So what you do is you have four wires right here on this, this cable right here. So you need to put your screwdriver in between those four wires. So you have two on each side, and you have it kind of like a gap, okay? So you put it in there like that, and then you just push out. And then you lift up, and it freed it up. So you have a retaining clip right here. Just push it from underneath there. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it from underneath that claw. And then again, right here on the board, grab it by the base, pull. Boom. Okay, <clears throat> next, we need to take out the disk drive here. So the disk drive has four main screws or bolts holding it in, one on each corner. So we've already taken this one out here where the antenna was at. So just take out the other three. And also, my screwdriver is not magnetized, but that is okay. We'll come back to that in a second. Okay, well, that one's out. So, now before you go trying to pull this thing out, you also have one little one. It's hiding right here in the front. That's just a Phillips. Take that thing out.
Okay, so now this thing is ready to come out. So you want to grab it from the back. Make sure to get your screw out. Now you got all your gears and cool stuff like that. This one has Fallout 4 in it. But you got all your gears. Don't worry about any of that. Unless you have disk drive problems. And now you can actually open this thing up if you have disk drive issues. And that's the reason why you're watching this video. So if you are going to take this disk drive apart, just know that you need to turn it upside down. You have three main screws. There are Phillips. One, two, three. And then don't forget to pull that cable out. And then this whole piece comes out. And then you can operate however you need to in there, but that'll be for another video. Put this thing over to the side. Be very careful. That is an optical drive and it is very sensitive. So, now on some models of PlayStation 4, mine specifically, you have this screw right here. Next to the terminals for your PSU, you have this black screw right here that actually holds the, uh, the other plate on the other side, which we're about to get to. It holds it all together. So you want to go ahead and take this thing out. All right. That's it for this side right here. We're going to go ahead and flip it around. Okay. You have your hard drive. It's regular Phillips. Pull that thing out. You're going to have a big screw. It's got all four symbols of the PlayStation logo. Uh, you'll see it. Yeah, my camera sucks. It's not focusing. But that goes there. Now you push out. You got that there. Be careful with that. Okay, so I've opened this thing many, 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 many times to do routine maintenance on it. You're going to have a screw right here. I don't have the screw. It, it went to Fairyland. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. But you're going to have one right here and one right here. So take off that one, and then take off this one right here. Boom. Now, cool part. So since you already loosened up this screw right here, you are now ready to go to this corner, not this, not this side, this corner right here. Again, you're going to try to bend the plastic up, put your finger underneath there, and put some MA in into it, bend it towards you. Boom. See? Put it over the side. All right, so now we have this weird looking thing right here. This is to put pressure on your APU, which is your accelerated processing unit, which is the, the main chip for this whole thing. It's the APU, it's the, the central processing. It's your graphics and your video, sorry, your graphics and your sound under one roof. You're processing everything on one chip, so this plate right here helps push it down. Simple Phillips. So now we have this screw right chunk, one below it, this one here, just go all the way around this thing until you get all the screws out. So this right here, this is your system fan uh, connector. You want to go ahead, grab it at the base, pull it up, move it out the way. Okay, so now we can actually get the board out. Now. You need to have all the ports towards you and the USBs away from you. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to take it just like this. Okay. Put that very carefully. Okay, so we've taken the board out and now we're ready to take this shield off. Now you have three screws, one right here, one right here, and one right here. <clears throat> okay. Now you have this metal dilly dally. Pull them out just like that. Now you need to take out the system fan. You got one screw here, and you got one screw right here. Take them out. All right. So now you've totally broken this thing down to the plastic. Now we have to vacuum it out.
Okay, so we've taken the board out, and now we're ready to take this shield off. Now you have three screws, one right here, one right here, and one right here. Okay, now you have this metal dilly dally, just pull them out just like that. Now you need to take out the system fan. You got one screw here, and you got one screw right here. Take them out. Alright, so now you've totally broken this thing down to the plastic. Now we have to vacuum it out.
Okay, real quick. Um, just in case you were wondering what I was using with the vacuum, dude, it's a simple paint. It's a simple paintbrush, and I duct taped it to the end of my vacuum hose cleaner, vacuum cleaner hose. Dude, if it works, it's not stupid. Okay, so we already cleaned everything off. We've already vacuumed it out. Now it's time to take off the old thermal compound on each side. So that's where the paper towel comes in. <clears throat> Alright, so you just need to get a dry paper towel. I just ripped mine in half and just wipe it off. the best of your ability. Now, that's when you get some alcohol and you finish the job. Okay. Oh yeah, squeaky clean. All right. Actually, just toss those away. Okay. Now we get a thermal compound. Now you need to put a pea-sized amount centered on the APU. So you need to go in a swirl so it's nice and even. See that? Nice and even. Now there's a lot of technicians out there that grab a credit card and they smear it out. No, 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 no. With heat that this thing produces and the pressure that this plate puts on it, it's going to even out naturally on its own. So you don't want to do anything but that right there. So now it is time to reassemble. Okay, so we have the curve of the fan right here, and it is facing away from us. So we need to have the open space right here towards us. All right, now you get your fan, put it in there just like that. Be sure that this cable is all the way to the left. Well, my left, your left when you're doing it, you get it. Okay. So you grab those one of those small rounded screws at the top, put one right there, and if I can find the other one, you put the other one right there. Cool. Now we can put on this thing. So you're going to have all the ports towards you. Be sure that this is moved out the way. Just gonna sit down in there just like so. Alright. Okay. Now we need to put in these rounded little screws. One, two, three. Okay, now it's time for the motherboard. Now you need to put it in ports first. 
Be sure to see it all the way back. All right, you don't have to like smash it down or anything. Just be sure it's in there, nice and even. Cool. Now you take that system fan and you connect it to the motherboard. Just push it down. Cool. Now we take this plate and you're going to see this where your hard drive goes. That's where your hard drive goes. Now you're going to see some, uh, some plastic posts. One right here, one right here. Yeah. Just be sure that they're on those posts right there. And you got it down all the way. Okay. All right, guys. We're all human. We all forget stuff sometimes. This right here, this little piece. Okay. You're going to slide it in just like this. Just a piece. Okay, now you put your board down. Cool. Now we're ready to put in some T8s. Okay. So with this, you're going to see this one right here, and then this first one, pretty much in the middle of the where the hard drive is at, you're going to put a T8 right there. You're going to put one right here where the disk drive goes, so I can get the sun bitch in there. Oh, it's giving me grief now. Okay. All right. Come here. Everywhere that you see an arrow that's where you're going to put a T8. You're going to skip this one right here, and you're going to skip this one back here. That's for the other plate. Take our hard drive, slide it in, that big screw, very comfortable silence it's important that you do not wrench this down at all just be sure it's nice and snug not loose but not over tightened either okay so you grab this thing right here and the open side is going to be where the hard drive is at Put it back side first. And be sure that this corner is clipped down. 
All right, cool. Now we're going to flip it over. Boom. All right, now it's time to put all of these cables back. Now you're going to see something like this. Looks kind of weird. But if you pay attention to the curvature of your cable, you will know exactly where it goes because each curve tells a story of where it's supposed to go. Now, if it's bent real close like that, this is the motherboard side. Push it down. Be sure it's underneath the hook right here. And you're going to see some electrical tape like wrapped around all these cables. Just be sure that they're in. There's little retaining hooks and stuff right here on this back side. So you need to push it down on this one and then go underneath this one here. And then just let that dangle. Oh, I said dangle. Okay. Now we remember that the white side was on the board. So we're just going to hold it like this and then just push in. And you'll hear a little weird clip thing. So that's fastened. This right here is to turn on your PSU. Well, it's to turn on your board from your PSU and your PSU to turn your board on. So be sure that the straight side right here is connected to the board. Push that in. Alright. Let's not forget the black screw that holds that plate in. and the antenna. Alright, so we're just going to push straight down on that antenna until you feel it click all the way down and then be sure that you go around be sure that you go around these things here go around and then you're gonna go on the right side of this this little clip, the claw. It should look like that. <clears throat> all right, now we're ready for the disk drive. Just kind of move all these things out of the way. Okay, this little piece right here, it needs to be there's a little slot behind this uh, the black plastic and then where the back side is just be sure it's in that little spot be sure that you don't crimp any cables be sure everything's free and it's nice and settled in there now you're going to take that last little uh, round Phillips head put it right here in the front and it jumped away Okay, now we move on to the T8s. If I can find my screwdriver. Okay, so remember we got one in each corner. There's one underneath here. You put the antenna back here. There's going to be two posts. Be sure that they're in the post. And then go ahead and screw it in. Now you got that little uh, cable retaining thing. Just be sure it's in between those two things right there. Okay. Now you remember how we made a hole between these four uh, lines right here. Just put your screwdriver back in there. Be sure that it's around this post. And this part is a little bit tricky, but you can get it. Or you can just put it like this. 
and reattach it. This thing's always a bugger. Okay. Push it in just like that, and then pick them cables up, and then be sure it's on the inside of this post. Okay, now reattach this. Just push straight in. You'll hear it click. Cool. Now we're ready to put in our PSU. Be sure that the power side is out. Gently. And then push down on the side that has this cable right here. Push it down right there. And grab this at the base and then plug it back in. Okay. So now we're going to use our T8. We're going to go right here at the top. That one there. One on each side at the bottom. Now we get our Phillips. Okay, now you got your little wings right here. What we're going to do is be sure that the wings are facing inboard. Again, don't wrench them down, but make sure that they are snug. All right, cool. Okay. So now we're going to grab our plate. Be sure that your vents are to the back. You're going to push it in. Set it down. Be sure it clips. We're going to secure all four black screws here. Turn it back over. All right, so you're going to have this hole open and this hole open right here. As you remember, I didn't have one right there because it went to La La Land. So I'm just going to put mine back in the middle. Slide it back on. And now you have a tuned up PS4. Okay, everybody. So that was a complete tune up for a PS4 uh, first generation. Now, there were some things that some of you may not approve of, or some of you might disagree with, or some of you just might have questions on. Please let me know down in the comments. Like I said, this is the first installment of my channel. So any kind of critique would definitely be appreciated. This right here is only the first thing out of many that we're going to be doing together. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, again, thank you for watching. And hit like, subscribe. Let me know if you want to uh, see me work on a couple different things. If you want anything particular. If you have any questions. Anything of that nature. Let me know. And uh, we'll try to get the video out there for you guys. Thanks a lot.